like that and you can't be scared to watch it you know i sit down and watch, I watch a documentary a month like just the, you know what i'm saying you know what else is a lost form reading a book yeah. oh, oh, lot, yeah, oh. Your you know how many Google women <laughs> you know how many women said to me a few minutes into the conversation my question to them was so what are your hobbies and expertise? Do you like to read? And if so, who are your favorite authors? Absolutely. When you ask a woman that, I ask her three questions. She skipped automatically to, what books do I read? Because now it's like, damn, first of all, how often can she run into one of her black brothers that read, unless he's just come home from jail, mm -hmm. and then get out of his little loop for six months, 12 months, and forget all about reading, because mm -hmm. he's back into the street, back into his program, mm -hmm. and that's what the problem would be. We gotta remind ourselves, because if we don't, ain't nobody else gonna do it. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, you said that. 50 Laws that stay, of Power, that stay with Art me. of War. That's a these, are, these are mandatory, these are mandatory. Dad. These are mandatory, yeah. Art of War, 50, 48 Laws of Power. Okay. These are things, that, uh, these are things that we need to read and uh, get accustomed to, because it's exactly what they cool. use on us. This is exactly like what they see. use on us. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's dope. That was a hot, I'm sorry, let me just say, look. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, coming soon. <laughs> Created by Battlethorn. <laughs> Created by Battlethorn. It's coming soon. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's coming real soon. Because, see, the father's left home. Right. In a black community. Mm -hmm. Daddy gone. Uncle gone. Right. And I want to say something, man. A lot of people ain't going to like it, but I don't give a fuck. You got a lot, of, a lot of black men out here. I'm hard on black men. We out here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us out here on this, on this thug shit. Mm -hmm. A lot of us out here disrespected our women take care of your motherfucking kids man i don't give a fuck if you don't get along with the mother listen believe me i understand that me and my daughter's mother was separated one time for four years but i made sure i take care of mine we we definitely see eye to eye mm -hmm. but take care of your children no hold up hold up black women allow the mm. father to take care of their kids because that yeah, too. That yeah, too. He, yeah well, we just got out of too. jail. Yeah, he may have a felony. Yeah, he might not be able to get a job. But money ain't the only thing that's important to a child. That's it for the Spanish woman too, man. So, sometimes, <laughs> let them take that kid and spend some time with him. Because, yo, honestly, nine times out of ten, the kid will force the father to change their life. That's a fact. But y'all take, take it away so much because it's y'all weapon. Y'all know, like... If y'all take our kid away, it's fucked up. Like, they, they know it's the weapon. So what I'm going to say is, I'm not saying that black guys, you know, black men, you know, but Latino, but however you want to put it. I know it's been fucked up for a very long time. And it's hard to build the trust back there because of everything that has gone. And I'm not talking about just like, you can look at from here, from two, three hundred years back, if you want to talk history, if you want to talk just recently, I we know we put y'all through hell and y'all just returning the favor. But unless we get on a balance, shit is just gonna keep clashing and, we, and the kids are just gonna be a product of their environment. But I, like I said, pendulum swinging, we starting to see College and education is very, education is another thing. If you don't have to go to school to get an education. Yo, there's millionaires out here who don't have a college degree, who don't have a high school diploma. And knowledge is taught, it's not bull. Knowledge is taught, that's not a fact. So OGs, this is to OGs. You gotta grab your low names and talk to them. These niggas is out of control, but we was out of control too at one point. <laughs> so. We need a key, but, we need a key now. And like you said, We've been gone, but we were taking out the homes. Black fathers were taking, it was purposely removed. That shit wasn't no, that shit wasn't by accident. Yeah, we did our shit and ran into shit. That was intentional. Imagine like being, imagine having a maze and you put a bunch of rats in there and you only give them certain directions to go. That, that's what's gonna happen. They gonna follow the, <laughs> the direction. Just, just natural order. So, what I'm saying is you guys, sometimes you gotta let fathers be fathers. Sometimes you know niggas ain't the best, like you know. And every kid needs a father. Hey, that's a fact. Not only the only mother, the father. <laughs> that's a fact. You need both you parents, it, yeah, man. Yeah, you see the feminine wave rolling over the males. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say like. And also you know, the TV, also the TV, man. The rainbow is a real big coalition these days, mm -hmm. and you see the feminine wave coming over the male. They would much rather us. 
the um, they would much rather us take, be in touch take, with our feminine side than be a man and say, "What'd you say? Say that shit to my face." Facts. Being more acceptable. You know what I'm saying? And, and to the weak shit. It, it's crazy because, like, as men, yo, we supposed to be combative and confront, and, and you know, but as black men, we weren't taught the communication key. But we meant to bump heads. We not meant to always agree. Right. But the one thing that we need is a communication key. So when we do bump heads, mm -hmm. we can talk about it. If there is no other alternative but the fight, then you know we could always throw hands. But th but. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Shit is just so crazy. So oh. all I'm gonna say is, yo, guys, <laughs> nigga, yo, we need, we need, we need that herb back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause niggas done lost it. <laughs> niggas is tight, crazy. <laughs> Y'all jeans are a little tight. <laughs> We're all yo. But, 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 my, but when I can say, yo, my Jamaican brothers, they've been, they, they've been on it's that way. European fashion. Yeah. They've been on that way. So don't get it fucked up. With I'm the not, dancing. I understand there's a difference. Big Uzi but in the I'm back. I'm going say, you know, when homies' jeans is too tight. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> wearing size girl jeans. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, listen, man. One, this is my thing. If your girl can fit your jeans, you got issues, man. Yo, know, if jeans is jeans, that's a problem. Yeah, you waking up in the morning, yo, fuck about jeans. You grab the wrong pair and it's not yours. <laughs> we got issues, bro. Your yeah. joints are too tight. You got to let right. that breathe. That's what those jokes, but we, we was just talking real shit. We was just out here talking real shit. Real talk. policy, yeah. Barbershop talk. Real, 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 talk. This street talk. We should, we, got, we was on the rooftop, but we brought, we had to come down. You know what I'm saying? With the other so YOs. That barbershop talk. Yeah, we had, to, we had to come off the rooftop and bring, to the, and, to and the come, street. And come level. back down to earth. Right? <laughs> it's that barbershop talk. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so listen, man. I Shout out to Control Room. You know what I'm saying? I need you to do some drops for me, man. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is That's the king right there.